got ourselves plenty of warriors on team one. One of them is going to be this uh, a Jajal warrior named Blood Dagger. Going to be caught on another team together with Jash as well as Sensei as a Windwalker monk. I still got to say, I love that set, man. It looks so good. And Terra Barrows as a uh, Paladin versus. Is it Nefex? No, it's actually going to be Sakura, the Balanced Druid. Interesting. On that team, we got Nefex. We got us as Rogue on the Subtle Rogue. Airless on that Outlaw once more. Diabolicals. Huh? Human Warlock? Did you just switch? Did you just make the switch? Boomkin opens up. Immediately going to be kidding shot out of the road. Got him some full dots on a blood dagger. Maybe a cloak shot situation. May decide to go defensive. Big death mark on to Sakura. Does Sakura have an answer? Bear form. Got him some barks in. Trying to go for as much recovery as possible. Going to be the full defensive. Shiv by the rogue. But the rogue is still going to take a lot of damage. Sakura does back out of there for a second. Does go for a couple of regrows. Do they have maybe a big go versus uh, Blood Dagger? Blood Dagger does get rooted out for a second. Dots a backup. Boomkin with Star Surges. Could be pretty bad for the Rogue. Get himself also that uh, little uh, Fade Dragon. Add in towards the damage. Towards the Rogue. Going to be a bit of a backflip. By Sakura into a wall. The Blood Dagger spike at him with one spike. Second in Venom to follow. But the Dots are burning him down. It's going to be a bit of a sipper cup. Sakura got a lot more. Uh, Boomkin's got a lot more dot damage this time around. Going to be tricky blind to follow. Oh, not a trinket. I think it was Blood Dagger maybe breaking him out of that CC as the regrows come out for Sakura. Got himself plenty of reco recovery. Able to knock the rogue out in the open. Able to dot him up fully. The rogue can't reach him. So sorry he, he just accepted it. He accepted his fate. He realized what the deal was. He didn't feel think there was going to be that Typhoon, but the Typhoon was a good play. And Blood Dagger, honestly, should have just won with a bow at the end. I think how cool would that have been? But it's going to be Sakura next versus Conan trying to go for a full blue form. Root immediately playing into that instant root. Reflect up for Conan. Can at least maybe reflect some of the dot damage from Sakura, at least here and there. Stormbolt immediately to follow. Conan ramping up with a big avatar. Wait, you got Root and Bash? Oh, wait, yeah, they're not on the same row anymore. I'm so used to Boomkins having the talent from like this of Pandaria. Where Root and Bash are in the same row, but they're not. I keep forgetting it, dude. It's so weird. Knock back into Conan. Does end up getting quite a bit of distance as well as a slow full star surge is flying in. Root to follow. Does it reflect? I guess you can reflect one of the Raz back to yourself, but it's going to be Fury or Balloon to follow right after Sakura having to play super defensive. Does get Storm Bolted outside of Bear Form, which is going to give Conan an opportunity to at least make some kind of a play. Convoke out for Sakura. Able to go for damage. I'm not even sure. I guess it's like a Jash. I guess Jash decided to reposition. That was actually super unfortunate. This is going to be a full stun onto Sakura. Try to play it super aggressive while getting away from the warrior as best as he could. But that was a little unfortunate. Jash reposition here. Wait, what? Why is he attacking FX? I'm not even sure. <laughs> or is he just healing off of him? Might just be healing off of him. But him being positioned here actually makes these pets attack him. Wait a second, Jash. You may just have to go to the other side of the arena. You may just have to get away so that the pets are not hitting the wrong target. Because for Sakura right now, the other pets are attacking you accidentally. Bash him to Conan. Kind of out in the open. Leap it in. Does he have a way to close the gap right now and catch up and healing? Right now, he just dotted. Melting right now. Nothing he can do. Wait a second. Charge in. Does get himself a bit of a heal. Conan with a reflect. Sakura. Do they have enough damage? One more start surge is necessary. But might not even need it. Dot are just doing work and sakura wins this one balance to it man look at that the pressure the constant dot damage together with a tier set as well as a dot focus build it's actually quite effective and then you got star surges in between lots of mobility since it's supposed to be damage just dotting people up and just kind of running away from them it's just actually kind of good Gonna be sensitive, trying to see if we can find a good go versus Sakura. Lexu in cap, knock back as it is gonna be a trinket on Sakura. Does get hit with the ring of peace, booped him back in. Fist of Fury right after for Sensei. Got himself a bit of that fey. Full burst coming out for Sakura as they do get himself with looks like Celestial Alignment. That or a proc for Celestial. Could potentially maybe go for a big mobility with that fly as well as a flab. Trying to see if he can get the distance, but Sensei does end up knocking him out in the open with the Roken. Gonna be up next as a sub rogue charging him. Trying to make sure Sensei does not get too much of a go. Trinket out of the disarm. Sensei trying to see if he can back up out of there. Did he try to go for cheap shot? Is it DR'd? Was it DR'd? It's gonna be Roken with an evasion cheap shot again on Sensei. Secret technique to follow. Mad damage shadow strike. Oh, wait a second. Oh my god. Support right after. Sensei barely any health whatsoever. Barely alive from that one. Roken just, just undeterred. Chasing after Sensei. Who's gonna be able to retreat back to the other side of the arena entirely? And Roken trying to see if he can find himself a bit of a restyle. Sensei trying to see if he can get him out. Karma immediately to follow. Does not have a cloak of shadows for this one. No blind available for the rogue. Could vanish in case he wanted to. May want to? Or maybe just save? 
He needs mobility to catch back up to Sensei. He just needs a little bit more. He almost had him. No trigger for Sensei for a good bit right now. It does have himself a ring of peace in case Roken opens up on the guy. It's going to be Shadow Strike. Does he have a kinder shot? Sensei seeing that Shadow Strike just going to back up out of there. Buy himself as much time as possible. We are eight minutes into the duel. 40% dampening. You're not going to be able to do anything here anymore though. Kinder shot onto Sensei. Secret technique. Is it enough? Does have Spore Cloak to help him a little bit? Oh my goodness. That is so close. I think he bored him, but at that point, his spirit left his body. His soul got ripped out by the rogue. And the man is just only a shell left at the end. With Jazz going to be up next versus Roken. Pretty high into dampening. Wait, no, it isn't. It's Cerberus. Picking up the eyes in case Roken's your wife just wants to make sure he's just... <laughs> just wafting him away as best as he can. Oh my goodness. Cerberus does pick up the eye. If he finds the rogue... He may be able to have a proper go. Rogue does have two vanishes a cloak, but no trinket. And if you can just lock him down in a single stun, you could have him. Cheap shot opener. It's going to be mid at wall, but Terra Barrows is broken. Might need to play it super passive. Terra Barrows also has himself more of a passive opener. Stun did not go for the full go into the rogue. I guess maybe he's like, well, he's got cheap death and he's not like is it full health maybe i should play it super carefully does go in for the final wreck together with wings for Oka, it's an opportunity to go for a clock of shadows ahead of time blind vanish does go in for the blind no trick out of cherubaros unless he maybe wants to trink it i was gonna say what if he just trinkets and just randomly hits the rogue with a judgment while he has the line side of the guy would that be the play i don't know maybe because i'm wondering how much damage it could have done honestly this is gonna be roca and try to see if he can find himself a bit more stability behind the pillar, recuperated back at Trinket and everything. Cheap shot in the opener onto Cerberus. Does have a human ratio for that one. Secret Technique comes out. Main to burn a bubble here. Shield of Venice up right now. Clock Shadows for Oka with advantage to follow. Does at least recuperate some cooldowns back. Blind by the Paladin randomly in case Roken is nearby. He does not get super far away from Pally, but not close enough to stay next to the blind. Not ready to get back in there immediately. Open it up. Blessing of Protection immediately. Vanished by the Rogue as soon as he gets a cooldown on Terramos. Bails out of there entirely, man. Having two vanishes, you can vanish for the first immunity, vanish for the second. But actually, for Roken, he did vanish there a little early for the first vanish. He didn't vanish on an immunity. Gonna be opener by Shadow Strike. Kidney shot to follow. Roken got himself evasion. That's not really gonna stop a Hodge. Secret Technique is gonna do a lot of damage though. Secret Technique tied up into a sepsis, into a flagellation now. Might be bad for Terrorbearers. Does he have a bubble? Oh, he doesn't have a bubble by the looks of it. But Jazz trying to see if he can take down Roken. Does not let him escape at all. I think it's just over the rogue, right? Oh, with that spear. <laughs> with that spear. There's actually nothing he could do. <laughs> Josh is the last one left. He's waiting. He's like, is it going to be Airless? Is it going to be Daya? No, it's going to be Nefix instead. Full bleeds out of the Feral Druid. Immediately, Josh goes in for a Trinket. A warrior versus Feral has always been rough for the warrior to deal with, man. Especially as the Storms. There's only so much you can do as a Fury Warrior in that situation, man. It's just, oh. That's rough. That's rough, dude. That rogue, man, though. My goodness, too. Yo, Sakura also popped off, too, as a Boomkin. That was well done. Well, well done. That was awesome. Okay, do we do one more? Or do we actually dance?